ASMR Nation. It's an unpopular opinions video yet again. Yet again. And it's a gum chewing. Popular. Unpopular. Unpopular opinions. Video. I'm almost out of gum. I had to search for about 15 minutes to find this gum. My last three pieces of gum. So before we get into the unpopular opinions, let's do some light housekeeping. If you're new here, welcome to my nonsense. If you're old here, welcome back, OGs. If you're new here, please consider hitting subscribe. If you're old here, double check. Make sure you're subscribed. Hit the like if you like. Leave a comment. It could be anything related to the video. It could just be a hello. It could be a few emojis. Hit the notification bell. As always, I'll link my tip jars in the description. You can also find my wish list in there, and that's where I try to keep some gum. <laughs> I try to keep some gum in my wish list. That's always a helpful thing for this channel. Um, and you can follow me over on Instagram. Same name over there. Nat Nonsense ASMR. You can drop me a DM. That's where you can submit a custom request. I have a menu over there if you ask for it. And then my other channel, Ramen Terry. Occasionally, I upload to Rumentary. Alright, let's get into these unpopular opinions. I always preface this by saying these are my unpopular opinions due to they are formed by my pretty long time here on Earth among other humans you might have a difference of opinion and that's not why I'm I'm not here to debate I am I fully support you having your own opinions I'm just not here to debate so you can talk about your difference of opinions to somebody else like this is just ASMR content I'm not here to change your mind about anything I'm not here to have my mind changed about anything it's just how I feel YouTube's algorithm is crap. I do not know why YouTube continues to show me things that I have skipped over a hundred times. I don't know why YouTube keeps shoving things at me that I have unsubscribed from. Um, I also have an issue with like I wish there was an option to I don't know how to explain it if my kid watches one thing on my YouTube about something my entire feed my entire recommendations becomes about that one thing and it's not something I was interested in it's just something that she looked at one time to try to figure something out and now that's all I'm getting almost like an instructional video like say my kid looked up or say I looked up you know how to fix something on my phone how to get to a deleted picture on my phone and I watched the video on it and I solved it it's done I don't need recommendations on other ways to fix the problem that I already fixed so I think it just I wish that there was a way that YouTube could figure out how to sort that out. Like, could they pop up a question that said, has your problem been solved? Do you want more content like this? You'd be like, problem solved, no more, thank you. All right, this one. Now 
about, you may or may not know what I'm talking about. If you spend a lot of time on like Instagram and TikTok, you probably do. But there's this trend right now, and it's videos of like a mother and a son, or a dad and a daughter. And it'll be like, okay, say, we'll just say it's a dad. It's a dad like taking his daughter to a nice restaurant, right? And it'll say like, taking my daughter out for steak and lobster so your dusty son can't impress her with his burgers. I hate this trend. I, or the ones that are like, you know, taking my son to Paris so that your dusty daughter doesn't impress him with her suggestion of a suggesting a trip to Miami, something like that, right? Sorry, my dog is right here. Go lay down. Um, I feel I'm getting emotional incest vibes. Why are you taking this three-year-old or four-year-old or five-year-old or six-year-old, your child? out to do anything and thinking about their fictitious futuristic relationships just go have a good time with your kid also I want my kids to be impressed by somebody's character not what they can do for them I want my sons to be able to cook their own meals and I want them to be happy with a meal that their wife cooks so like some of the videos are like oh I'm cooking my son this elaborate meal so that your daughter can impress him with her spaghetti or her macaroni and cheese or something else like that. boy if you don't take this macaroni and cheese and say thank you Giving, like, you know, the kind of dads that will say, oh, I'm going to be cleaning the gun when, when somebody um, comes over to take my daughter out so they know I'm in business. No. Or, like, threaten, you know, you see, like, the prom pictures of these dads with their weapons. Like, you better have. What? It's giving gross. It's giving emotional incest. Your daughter has a curfew. She needs to be home by curfew. That's that. That's that. It's not always somebody else's fault, big guy. relationship and you realize wow I have a lot of work to do and you do the work it's another thing to continue to date that person that has done a lot of work on themselves that seems to handle life fairly well and then you just suck them dry suck them dry robbing them of all the work that they did or your relationship hop over and over and over again just Taking, 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 taking emotionally, taking financially, taking in every way you could possibly take, giving nothing. So I want gold digging to either not be a word we use anymore because adults have the choice, you know, of 
financially supporting other adults or or emotionally supporting other adults that's a choice right but if we're going to continue to use the word we want to make sure it covers all the bases all right the pronouns the pronouns unpopular opinion not a big deal to me if you tell me you prefer a pronoun I'm just gonna call you the pronoun what's it to me it's no skin off my back now I'm not gonna say I'm gonna get it right every time but I'm gonna work on it I'm gonna make a conscious effort to work on it it's not gonna hurt me and I think it's weird weird to protest pronouns with your whole chest that's what you're about a pronoun protester with your sign like do you not have any hobbies do you not have any world issues that that actually matter that you could give your all to there's a gender behind deadbeat I think a deadbeat can be I don't even think it, it has to be limited to parents I think there can be deadbeat aunts and uncles grandmas and grandpas so I have the term deadbeats is genderless moms dads can be deadbeats you know you could have a deadbeat uncle an uncle that doesn't give a crap about his nieces and nephews um, I remember one Christmas my own dad, right? We hadn't seen him in years because he was a hot mess. And I was like, okay, I'm going to Christmas. I told my grandma, his mom, I'm going to Christmas, but not if my dad's going to be there because it's, it's going to be too awkward. We haven't seen him in years. And of course, what does this woman do? Oh no, he's not going to be there. She knew. She knew he was going to be there. And I remember my youngest at the time. You know, he's there. He showed because when my dad was there, he was a fun guy, right? As a lot of these weirdos are. So, you know, he's passing out presents and stuff. And I remember my daughter goes, and who are you? And she was probably like four at the time. Who are you? That's a deadbeat grandpa. There is no such thing as 50-50 custody. Um... And again, this could be mom, this could be one of them is going to have to do more of something. More of the rides. More of the overnights. More of the birthday parties and outings. More of the sports. More of I just don't think there's anything such thing as 50 50 custody. I wish there was. I wish there was a way to split things right down the middle. But I don't think that there's a I would say the best I've seen in a couple, a, sp a couple that split. The best I've probably seen is 60-40, and that was an outlier. And that was supposed to be 50-50. And they were really trying. I don't think there's any such thing as 50-50. Okay. Unpopular opinion. I think we should celebrate endings with as much excitement as we celebrate beginnings. Maybe even more. So, do we celebrate the beginning of a marriage? Yes. Should we celebrate the end of a marriage? Yes. Do we celebrate getting a job? Yes. Should we celebrate quitting a job? Yes. I think we need to have the same enthusiasm, if not more when we close chapters. It's almost like a little graduation. Like, did you take a honeymoon? 
for your marriage? Yeah. Well, I think you should take a, a divorce. Anti-honeymoon. What would be the word for it? Okay. Ah, unpopular opinion. I think that some home remedies and homeopathic remedies actually work. Western medicine will have you convinced that there is nothing that you can do about some things. Like, you have to go get on antibiotics. And there are things that I have suffered from chronically that I spent years, years Googling, years on forums, that I have finally figured out how to cure it all. Um, saved me a ton of money, saved me a bunch of visits and antibiotics like ravaging your system. So there are a few things that I have found that actually do work. I think that a lot of Western medicine is helpful and there's some cures and there's some preventatives and vaccines and stuff that are great, but it's not the only way. Okay, people have navigated this stuff without Western medicine for a long time. Now, I'm not saying like once something gets out of hand, you should not go to see your doctor. You definitely should go to see your doctor. But there are some things that I have found that steve off or that catch something while I'm just starting to feel it, that if I do it, I know that I will, I will save myself a doctor's visit. So there is something to be said for home remedies. And there are things that your doctor will I wish that there was some kind of way for doctors to track, like, okay, you did test positive for this, and if you come back, if you try it your way and you come back in a couple days and you don't test positive for it anymore, it looks like it's better, then I will hear you out on, on what you did, and then use that. at least use it in their own head, like don't roll your eyes because it, it worked. All right. It's time to talk about fertility struggles from all ends. So, struggle with fertility. It's awful. I've had friends that have tried for many, many years, and I have had friends that went on to get different therapies done, different, like, in vitro and, and failed attempts, and then, you know, losses of pregnancy. It's a terrible struggle. Fertility struggles are terrible. The other side of fertility struggles is being overly fertile. Yes, it is a struggle. There are people that can't mess up not even one time or they will become pregnant and then they got a 20 year obligation. So I want the talk about fertility struggles to include those that struggle in any way with fertility. And yes, sometimes those are two separate discussions. If somebody is talking about how they can't get pregnant, it's not the time to bring up how you can't stop getting pregnant. But sometimes, in a general sense, it's a whole discussion that should encompass all the fertility struggles. Because, yes, ideally, everybody would like for fertility to just work in whatever favor they're hoping for every time. Um, I have a friend that I swear she's been pregnant every year. And I can't say that she seemed very happy about it. But it's just something that's not talked about enough. And I think that 
who in certain religions and certain for certain reasons why people aren't either aren't on birth control or they um, have failed birth control or I mean that's a whole other discussion but I just want the other side of fertility struggle to be heard as well Reading about books is its own hobby. Reading books is another hobby. So I could spend six hours reading about books and adding books to my TBR. That's its own hobby. It's a separate hobby from actually reading books. The same thing with movie trailers. I could sit there for a couple hours and watch movies is its own hobby and it's just as enjoyable if not sometimes more than watching an actual movie okay i'm starving you guys i'm freaking hungry and i gotta take my teenager to the doctor today i have to go pick up another prescription and i have to pick up my groceries and then i have to come home and put away the groceries and yada 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 so this might have been my only little chunk of time that i got to sit down and i got to spend Keep your fingers crossed that I get at least one more break today to do something enjoyable, but we'll see. Okay, if you are still there and you watched it to the end, thank you very much. I hope that you have a good rest.